Hi, how are you doing? I know the holidays are here. For us who have lost loved ones during this time of the year, in the course of the year, we feel like such a big gap in our lives. I know that you are feeling like what is even the point of celebrating? What is the point of having this Christmas or whatever your holidays are going to be very different? Because the loved one is not there. The person probably used to make Christmas special for you, New Year's, going back home, all the fun things you do in your time off is probably not there. I'm sorry. I'm really sorry for your loss. It's not going to be an easy Christmas. Mentally, spiritually, emotionally, it's not going to be an easy Christmas. Or holiday for you. I know. I'm in the same boat too. But we can be rest assured. The ones who went before us don't ever want us to to make them the excuse that we cannot live life. That they would be so upset if they found out that because they left unintentionally, we don't even make an effort to leave. They would trade a minute of just being here to tell us to try and find some normalcy in what is happening if they could. I'm saying this is also an encouragement to myself. We have to find a way to make it through this December, these holidays. Don't make this other people's families who are full make you feel like you don't have anything. Be grateful for the ones that you that are left behind, the ones that are still in your corner. Be grateful for the ones that have not left your side since this whole thing happened or the grief happened or the trauma happened. Hang on to those memories that you've had, the good ones of the loved one that has gone. But the one thing that's very important is I want you to be patient with yourself. I want you to seriously be patient with yourself. Be patient with your healing. Don't be angry because you're sad. Like, why am I sad? Do not be, why am I crying already? Damn it. One hour later. Do not be angry. Allow yourself to feel your feelings. Allow yourself to feel your feelings. You, you will like, you don't even know. I do know. I do know. If you've heard any or watched any of my videos this year, I do know. You know I do know what it feels like. And maybe more deeper level than most. But I do know what it feels like. I do know what it's like to wake up in the morning when you didn't want to wake up. I do know what it's like to feel like all you want to do is just sleep the pain away or the misery away or the tears away. I do know when that day you don't want to put on a, a, a strong face or a strong front to go out there so people can see you. I do know what it's like to hide my pain behind my makeup and my smile. I do know. But I want you to know, in the patience that you give yourself, give yourself grace. Grace. Give yourself grace. Right? Feel your feelings. Give yourself permission to feel them. To miss them. Allow yourself that time to miss them. Cry about it if you need to. Take a quiet time if you need to, but allow yourself. Don't keep those feelings bottled up. Be kind to yourself by taking time out for yourself. 
take time out for yourself. Take a breather and take yourself out for coffee. Sit by yourself. Sleep a little bit longer if you can if you can do it. Do something that makes you happy. Watch an old movie. Read something that makes you laugh. If you if you cannot handle all of these things, those two, and you're finding it a little bit hard, humble yourself and ask for help. Ask for help. Ask your friends for support if you need someone to be there with you the holidays. Ask for it. And also receive it when someone gives it to you, even if you don't ask. Just remember that it's okay to have a good time, to have some joy in the midst of your grief. It is okay. Don't be so hard on yourself that you could actually have a minute of joy or something is so funny that you laughed. Something was that this one was so good. Even though they're not there, you found something, you found some joy in something. It's not a betrayal to the memory of the person that passed. And the other thing that makes that is constantly there our anger, forgive them for leaving. I know we're not ready to hear that. But forgive them for leaving. Forgive them for not being there at the time when you really need them to be there. Like what am I supposed to do now? I just, uh, what am I supposed to do now? And get up and go on with your life. It's all right to sit around, be depressed for a minute, cry about it, do whatever you have to, but don't stay there too long. Get up and go on with your life. With the better time, slowly but surely, patiently like a tortoise, going, not running, but walking, crawling if you need to. Crawl if you need to, to get out of this grief. This is just a small, short notice. But you will be okay. You will be okay. It will be hard, but you'll be okay. I have much to say. I just felt it on my heart. I journaled it as a mental check-in to see how I'm doing. No. I don't have the best words or the best way to express. What I'm trying to tell you, but from a heart of someone who's also grieving, I just want to check up on you and see how you're doing and to just encourage you and let you know that I know it's going to be a bit harder than usual that I know that city is going to be open this Christmas. That I know the heart is a little bit scarred. But please be kind to yourself and be graceful and patient. You must fight for you.